Good morning, America. Monday morning rail. How are you? Hi, I'm Denny Yilsma, and I'm at the world famous Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. Today is Monday, and you know what we always do on Monday. You guessed it. We're going to do show and tell, and show and tell is going to start in just a moment. But show and tell is always brought to you by Yelsma Graphics, the people that make the embroidered railroad clothing for the last almost 40 years. So anything that has to do with railroad embroidery, go to jelsma.com and you'll see the large selection. And now with all that being said, we're gonna go to show and tell. But before we go, I want you to know that this next segment is really an exciting segment. We've had a lot of requests to bring Richard New back in. He's got a large fan uh, base, and he's even got got uh, uh, glossy photos. So for you to sign, and he signs on Friday morning between 9 and 9.30. So with all that being said, show and tell starts right now. Oh, man. It's <laughs> tight back here. Yeah. Hi guys. Somebody your size. It's Richard from Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Club. It's echoing under here too. I'm crammed in to a switching district right now. Today we're going to talk about the Atlas Cement Company. Actually, if I remember right, we had two of these towers by two different companies down at the Rand Docks area in Jacksonville. I think they're still there even. Um, anyway. We only have so much space on this layout here, so we only needed one of these buildings. This started out as a Walther's kit. I don't remember the name of it, but it came, comes with uh, eight silos. The model, the building we're going after did not have eight silos, it only had four. So I cut down the kit, cut down the base, cut down the uh, roofing part that goes over the top of the wall, eight silos and made just this, this four silo stand. Um, basically, we used what was in the kit and got two silos left over with some roofing material. Everything else I used. Um, crammed everything else up on the roof, all the dust collectors, um, the pneumatic system is all on top. The unloading shed is straight from the kit. Can't see it, it's back here on the back side. Um, the kit comes with two, I think it's four loading doors, two on either side. Uh, basically, I just built it straight, straight from the kit the way the instructor said, minus the two outside towers on each side. Um, that's basically it. Just put it together pretty much as the kit instructions said. The detailing is rattle can spray paint, some sort of yellowish cream color. Um, and then the rest looking aspects of it is, oh, what do you call it? Pan pastels applied with their, the sponges that you can buy with the kits, uh, with the pan pastels. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I did not use the sign material that came with the kit. We needed to use the name of the company here in town. So we printed that up ourselves. The piping you see on the far side that goes over to the uh, dock area. The cement came into town here on barges and was pneumatically sucked up from the barges and piped into the silos. And from there it was dispensed into the rail cars or the trucks. Um, that's basically all I had to do with the kit. Once it was planted on the site, um, Bill Harding put in the concrete roadways and the fencing and somebody else put in the scenery. I believe Rodney did the piping from the barge to the uh, silos themselves. But this is just one of the cement plants that was down there in the Talleyrand area. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Just took some time, maybe a week to do this project, and then we planned it and somebody else did the rest of it. Can I get out of here now? It's tight. Well, thank you. That was very interesting, Richard. And remember, uh, 
Richard has eight by ten glossies that he can sign for you. Uh, he signs uh, autographs on Friday morning between nine and nine thirty, and he'd be glad to do that. And that's the way it is at the world famous Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum, where the sun always shines and running trains is an absolute pleasure with peace and harmony and a controlled atmosphere.